everyone. Welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. Today we're going to talk about calculated fields and a quick tip about how to kind of extend what you can do with calculated fields. Now for this example, I will be essentially connecting to another entity, a parent entity, and I will be pulling a value from that entity in order to make the calculation. Now, we can really use any example that we want for for this case, but let's just say that maybe you you're a software company or or you sell magazines or whatever it is and you have kind of an idea that you make let's say ten dollars per employee at a, at a given company so if you if you sell software for example and you know is it's a, it's a piece of software like office or something like that where you make on average let's say ten dollars per user per month you know how can we have a calculated field that can read something like the number of employees and then do all the math and calculate that at the opportunity level. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, before we start the, the countdown, let me just navigate uh, into, you know, one of these it doesn't really matter which opportunity it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a field. We're going to put it on the form somewhere. Uh, it doesn't matter where it is. We'll just, uh, whatever, we'll drop it in here or maybe right here on the top right. Uh, and that's going to be a calculated field. Now, what I want to do is I want to connect up to AdventureWorks or the account in this case. And I want to read the number of employees at that particular company. You can see that AdventureWorks has 5,800 employees, um, you know, out of the box. So I'm going to go and navigate to... Uh, solutions right and I'm already within the opportunity so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new field now again this is not part of the tip you already know and again I'm not doing it in a solution this is a trial environment so don't you know give me grief about using new underscore this is just for test purposes so I'm gonna say um, let's call this one licensing revenue um, you know or estimated licensing revenue something like that and then maybe on top of the revenue, we're gonna charge him a, a few other things. So this is this won't be the full estimated revenue. This is just for licensing. And again, we're gonna make this a currency field, um, and we're gonna make it calculated. All right. So we're gonna save that. And once we save it, we'll be able to go into the editor. All right. So this is the editor for the calculated field, and this is when we start the countdown and let's go. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I want to start with a condition. And the condition can really be anything. I could say, for example, that the accounts, number of employees, let's just pick that number of employees contains data, let's just say. So if I'm not, if the account doesn't have data, I'm not gonna calculate anything. And then we go into the action. So here's where we type the formula, okay? So here's the trick, this is the tip. So first we're going to pick the account record, right? But remember, we don't want just the account record. We want a field within the account. We want to use that for our for our, you know, formula essentially. So here's the trick. You put a dot right next to it and that allows you to pick fields within that particular entity. So you can see now I can go and pick number. So I'm going to type that in. And there it is, number of employees. So I'm going up to the parent account, pulling the number of employees, okay? And then I'm gonna multiply that by whatever many dollars we think, you know, we're gonna make by those employees, 10, right? And then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna multiply that by 12 uh, to give me kind of a yearly revenue, yearly licensing revenue for uh, those particular employees. And that's it. So all I'm doing is I'm gonna go and take, you know, the account number of employees, multiply that by $10 a month and multiply that by 12 months to get that yearly you know, estimated licensing revenue that we're after. So that is the tip. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close. Now let's go and add it to the form just so we can test this thing. And I realize that we're probably going to run out of time here, but, um, you know, hopefully you stay tuned so we can test this and we're doing this live, obviously, as always. So let's go into the custom fields, estimated licensing revenue. Let's drop it anywhere. Like I said, top right to make it easy to find. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save and publish. Again, I'm adding this really quick on the classic form editor rather than using a new one. You can see that, you know, it's recommending the new form designer. I totally recommend you use that, but this is just quick for the video. Okay, so now that we have the field in there, let's go back to the opportunity. Let's hit refresh, so F5. 
And this is going to load up. And there he goes. $696,000 of estimated licensing revenue. So that is, you can do the calculator, 5,800 multiplied by 10 and then multiply that by 12. That's how we can read information from a parent record and use that as the basis for a calculated field. So I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.